Hey guys, so you know the last LEGO Star Wars wave that we got was mostly comprised of display sets. Of course, we have the Dio that I built, but most notably we had the UCS A-Wing and the three new helmet collection line of LEGO Star Wars sets. Now, if you're like me and you're a collector, you want to make sure that your display sets are not only in pristine condition, but also look phenomenal. And there's obviously one thing that you can do as a LEGO collector to make that happen is that is utilize display cases. So once again, I am partnering up with iDisplay It to bring you guys today's video. A huge thank you to iDisplay It for sending me free copies of their product that you guys are going to be seeing today. We're going to be unboxing two different types of products. One is going to be the custom display case for the A-Wing and then another one's going to be for all three of the brand new helmets. Now if you guys do want to pick up the product or check out more of what iDisplay it has to offer, links will be down below in the description. I've done multiple videos with them. I love their product. So make sure you guys go check it out down below. So that being said, let me just clear some room here because we got a nice package here uh, from iDisplay it. In the iDisplay it fashion does come in a very nice uh, protected box which is great. You guys can see fragile stickers almost everywhere which is good. So I'm going to get this one open here, see what we're working with and I'll show you guys what's inside the box. Alrighty, so as usual, everything comes beautifully wrapped in lots and lots of bubble wrap, which is nice. Here, so here we have it. Looks like they've actually upgraded their packing too since the last time um, I've ordered from them. So they now come in cardboard like little containers, which is good. So let's get this first one on open here. Hopefully it says what each one is so we don't have to guess. All right, so I'm assuming this first one here is gonna be for all the helmets. It looks like it's the rectangular uh, case that the helmets do come in. So that should be that and this one should be for the a wing now if you guys want to check out the other i display videos i've done in the past you can check out the star destroyer one which is my favorite thanks to i display it thanks to beyond the brick and lego for sending me that star destroyer and thanks to i display it for sending me the display case it basically makes my like dream set in a dream case finished unwrapping all the stuff here so like with every i display it product that you'll get it always comes with this little box or tool bag right here of all the stuff you'll need, it's literally an Allen wrench, a couple of screws, and a couple of like the custom plastic pieces uh, that the screws go into. This stuff is super easy to use. It's not complicated. It takes a couple of minutes to set up. So without further ado, let's just start getting on into both of these right now. Alrighty, so I've done a few of these videos before and setting up these display cases is nothing too crazy, but I do want to highlight a little more in depth as to what that process looks like. So once you open the box, like you guys just saw, you get a whole bunch of these display pieces. They are all wrapped in this sort of protective filament. So make sure you just take like a credit card or a membership card. You can gently braise it against one of the sides and the whole film should come up, peel it off and then do it for the other side. Uh, you wanna make sure that thing looks clear if it's very cloudy or if it looks like a color, then you're missing uh, one of the filaments on it. And you still have to peel that off. But once you have all those protective filaments and all those sides and panels uh, peeled off, Set them, lay them aside. I'd suggest maybe cleaning them if you want. I know I get fingerprints all over these guys a lot, so you can do that. But as far as actually putting them on, it's very simple. Basically, iDisplay it has these little plastic pieces that comes with every single set. Of course, you don't need to purchase them additionally. You basically link them inside the panels with the holes. You first put them in the side and then rotate them to face outwards and you connect them with the adjacent panel with a screw, again, provided by iDisplay. You could just twist it in yourself. It locks in once you do that for the rest and all, uh, I guess five, six, however many there are screws for each of the display cases. You just tighten them all in with the Allen wrench, which again is provided by iDisplay. But like I said, this is like the third or fourth time that I've teamed up with iDisplay to make some content, them sending me their products but I gotta say every single time that I do make their display case or display stand I'm always blown away by the quality of it it looks perfect it looks great it looks smooth it looks really sleek especially with the floor of the display case being like this black glossy uh, sort of feel so it really does fit in with that Lego Star Wars ultimate collector vibe especially uh, with the a-wing and the helmet collection series now like I said these are entirely made of a strong plastic these aren't glass so if you got to transport these disassemble them it's gonna be a lot easier a lot safer than as you would from a display case that does actually have glass so let's first start off with the a-wing display case obviously there's not too much to say about it a lot of the volumes just speak for itself whenever you see an image but I will say uh, one of the great things about iDisplay it is that the display case itself is not too big. It does give you a little bit of excess room that way the set, you know, isn't crammed 
inside the display case but what's great about it is like i said there's not too much wiggle room uh, from the front and the back so that means it's going to be fitting pretty much perfectly inside the display case which is nice now before you seal it up like i did i would recommend you just take like a wipe or a towel and just dust the inside or clean the inside because obviously the inside is going to stay pristine as long as the cover is on you can obviously come to the outside and clear and like clean all that kind of stuff what i do actually particularly like about the helmet collection display case is it fits all three of them they're not individual I actually don't know if i displayed offers individual display cases for the helmets but personally since these three are part of the same wave the same drop that came out for april i would prefer it be in this longer display case of course like i said with the a-wing it's very similar in style nice snug fit not too much excess room very durable very sturdy and it looks great it looks like it gives that glass like thousand dollar display case feel when ultimately it's not even anywhere remotely near that price so i'll leave links down below to both of these products guys if you want to go ahead and purchase them for yourself if you're like me and you like valuing your lego collection for the long run you like having it in a good condition especially later down the road if you ever need to sell it or anything like that display cases are a great way to do that now i do quickly want to address the price because i know that's something a lot of people talk about in nearly every single i display it video Fact of the matter is you're paying a premium for quality. These are not glass, they're durable, they're sturdy, they're very, very easy to create, very easy to assemble, and you are gonna pay a little bit extra than you might otherwise if you find another random display case company. But what's particular about iDisplayed is they make display cases specifically for LEGO. You're not buying a certain dimension display case and hoping a LEGO set fits in there. You're gonna see tons and tons of options for other sets like that. In my most truly unbiased opinion, like I said, even though iDisplayed sent me these guys for free, I gotta say, I don't think these are too outrageously priced. But overall, assembly is easy, shipping is great. I'll leave it up to you guys whether or not you want to go ahead and purchase these or purchase anything. But I guarantee you, if you guys have a LEGO set, there is 100% a display case specifically for your set on iDisplay. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Guys, drop a like and subscribe down below. Of course, if you're looking for more content, like I said, iDisplay links will be down below in the description. If you want to go ahead and check out any of their products, feel free to do so. Huge thank you to Steve from iDisplay for sending these my way. Definitely going to be displaying these guys somewhere here in the basement uh, in the studio. So that's going to be great. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you later. Take it easy. Peace.